This video is actually not clickbait. Yes, I really did find a code that can increase the number of subscribers you get by almost 70%. And I don't know that probably sounds insane, so let me just show you what it is and how it works. So in December 2020, I started putting random links around my channel in the pinned comments, top and bottom of the description, in the about section, in the channel banner, which is now the bio. And these were not sponsored links or links that I promoted verbally in my videos. I just kind of left them there and whoever found them and clicked on them organically, great. Now, because I'm an absolute nerd, I use a data tracking service called Switchy that lets me track the amount of clicks that I get on my links and give me some advanced analytics around them. And according to Switchy, since December 2020, about 0.78% of my viewers found and clicked on one of those random links I left around my channel. Now, what does all this have to do with increasing your subscriber count by almost 70%? Well, all this got me thinking. It's a devastating yet true fact that the majority of viewers of any YouTube channel will not subscribe. Bastards. But you can't do this to me. So for me personally on this channel, about 92.8% of my viewers don't click the subscribe button. And so based on that stat, the other day it hit me that I would have to assume that the majority of people who click on those random links I leave around my channel are also not subscribed. And that got me thinking, what if I could find some sort of code that every time someone clicked on one of those links, they would automatically be subscribed to my channel. Well, let's do some math. So as mentioned, I get about 0.78% of my viewers to click on one of those random links I leave around my channel, which is actually quite high. But based on that number, I've got about 12.1 million views since December, 2020. And so at a conversion rate of 0.78%, I've had 94,975 link clicks since that date. Now, if we assume that every time someone clicks on one of these links, they get automatically subscribed to my channel, Right now, I would actually have about 235,975 subscribers, which is almost 70% more subscribers than I currently have. And even if I had a much smaller channel, let's say like 100 or 1,000 subscribers, this link click to subscriber technique would mean that I would have 167 subscribers or 1,670 subscribers. All of this without posting more videos, without more call to actions in my videos, just by copying and pasting a few links around the channel. Here's the problem. A code that would automatically subscribe someone when they click on a link would surely just be too overpowered to exist, except it does. So after digging through some deep dark corners of the internet that actually weren't that deep or dark, I just wanted to sound cool. I remembered a code that could help turn any link clicker into a subscriber. And it's pretty genius. Let me show you how it works. So to create it, basically you want to go to your YouTube channel page and you want to copy your channel's link. Once you've copied that link, paste it in a tech doc or notes or something, and then go all the way to the end of it and type question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one. And now if you copy this link and send it to someone who isn't already subscribed to your channel, when they click on it, they'll be sent to your channel homepage. And as long as they hit confirm, YouTube will subscribe them to your channel. And if you can get as little as 0.78% of your viewers to click on that link, in a perfect world, you should be able to increase the number of subscribers you get per month by almost 70%. Before you start actually doing this though, there are a few catches you need to be aware of. First, a small percentage of people who click on your link will already be subscribed. So in my case, that discounts about another 8%. And not everyone's gonna wait for your link to load. And out of those who do stick around, not all of them are going to hit the confirm button. Bastards. Also, potentially the most unsexy thing to consider is that this link only works on mobile if people are watching YouTube in their mobile browser. People using the YouTube mobile app who click this link won't see the subscribe pop up. But if I look at my analytics on Switchy, which is the link tracker I mentioned earlier, I can see that about 60% of my clicks are from desktop users. I'm gonna assume that the vast majority of mobile users are using the app. So let's discount about another 35%. So all in all, for a channel like mine, I'd guesstimate that we'd be left in a place where about 40,000 of those 95,000-ish clicks I got would actually subscribe as a result of using this link and code. I'd more realistically boost my subscriber count by about 28%, which sounds sad at first, but when you put it into perspective, that's still like an additional 40,000 subscribers I would have right now. And remember, that number could even be drastically higher if you're able to get more than 0.78% of your viewers to actually click on one of these links, which leads us to actually getting people to click on these links, because for this strategy to work, you kind of need that to happen. So I wanna share five hacks with you that have drastically increased the amount of people who click on my links without me even needing to verbally mention them in my videos. So the first big one is you always want to remember what's in it for them. Just writing like, please subscribe and then copying and pasting this link. It's not going to get many people to take action because you're coming from a place of begging them for something. 
So instead, make it more eye-catching, make it more fun, and make it about them by doing one of the two following things. First, you wanna tell them like, hey, click this link for, and then insert a thing that people in your niche would really want. The second thing you can do is do the opposite of that, where you say, hey, click this link or I'll then insert something that they really don't want. Now, most people know that this is a bit of a joke and you can make it funny, but try it out and you'll find that you'll actually get a much higher percentage of people clicking on your links. For example, Mr. Beast does this when he says things like, hey, subscribe for a cookie. What he's saying there basically is, hey, take the action I want you to take, which is click my link or subscribe to my channel to get this thing that all the people in his niche, which is just at the, everyone at this point would want a cookie. Who wouldn't want a cookie? He also does the inverse where he says things like, hey, subscribe or I'll steal your dog. Again, a very general thing that would apply to a lot of people and would be painful. Now, obviously people all know that these are a bit of a joke, but they work. That's why Mr. Beast used them. But instead of just copying Mr. Beast, I'd recommend think about your specific channel, your target audience, the things that people who come and watch your videos would really want or really fear and then integrate those things within the templates we just talked about to get more people to click on your links. Next thing is you wanna put your links everywhere because remember we're relying on people finding and clicking on these links basically just through complete chance. So you wanna put links in your about section, your pinned comments, of course your description and basically anywhere else that you can put these links on your channel. Now, speaking of description, let's get real technical for a second. First, you wanna make sure you have your link near the top of the description so that it shows up without people needing to click the see more button. Now, I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I spent like three hours testing this the other day. And what I found is that usually if you have less than 95 characters in the top of your description, and then you insert your link and your call to action on the second line, it'll almost always show up without people needing to click see more. But then also at the bottom of your description, you wanna add in this link again, potentially even twice, and you can use different call to actions to almost make it seem like it's a different link or a different option and get more clicks, even though all of those clicks are going to the same place, regardless of where they ended up actually clicking. Also, something you might wanna do is in your about section slash bio, the first line actually shows up without people actually needing to click to see more. What you can do is put a call to action directly within that section with arrows pointing down towards your link, which which makes it a lot more likely someone's actually going to click on it and potentially bring you an extra subscriber. Another one to remember is try to make sure the link looks safe. A lot of people use fancy and free link trackers out there so they can track their analytics kind of like I do, but a lot of these link trackers are also used by scammers just to hide their dodgy URLs. And so people are much more likely to click on an organic looking YouTube link or a link like my switchy one, which has a custom domain, the same as my channel name attached to it because it makes it seem safer and less like some sort of scam. And last but not least, don't forget about your community tab. You can come up with jokes and memes and more call to actions and just post them a couple of times a week in your community tab because your community tab can be pushed out to people who have never seen your channel before or people who have viewed your videos but haven't actually subscribed yet. And so if you're creative enough, you might have a chance of winning over some of those people. And what's cool about this is that you don't need to create a video to do it. It's like a two minute text post. So with all this being said, what are the use cases for this strategy and should you use it on your channel? Well, if your primary goal right now is to maximize the amount of subscribers you get, for example, maybe because you're trying to reach the 1000 subscriber requirement for monetization, then this is definitely a valid strategy that could increase the amount of subscribers you get anywhere from say 20 to 40% based on my math. But the reason why most big creators don't use this strategy is their focus is more on views than subscribers. And so if you wanna learn one of my favorite ways to start getting more views on YouTube, check out the video on screen and I'll show you a pretty cool strategy.